Lakers, my name is Valerie, and if you are new here, I live on a small 12-acre farm with my husband and our four boys, and we are learning how to be as self-sufficient as we can, learning how to grow our own food, and um, all the things that come along with that. And today, I'm actually going to be making a fresh batch of my homemade milk replacer for my orphan lamb. He keeps wanting to kick the camera, that's why I... I'm constantly looking down. <laughs> and so I thought I'd bring you guys along to see how I do that. And here he is. He's getting big. What? Yeah, he's doing really good on this milk replacer. So, let me show you how I make that. Okay, so we're going to start out with whole milk from the grocery store. Now, if you have a local farmer or somewhere where you can get raw milk, then that would be even better. But we use whole milk from the grocery store, just ordinary milk. You're gonna use one can. It's a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Make sure you shake it really good. And full fat buttermilk. Do not use the reduced fat or the low fat. start off we're going to pour a couple cups. I, I just use a, a quart jar and fill it about half full. That's just to make room for what we're going to be adding. Okay, let's go a little bit more, about three quarters. One cup of the buttermilk. and the entire can of evaporated milk. Oops. All right. So, as you can see, I overflowed a little bit. Probably should have poured a little bit more in there. Now this, you can just throw in the refrigerator and use it as you would your normal milk. Or let your kids drink it, whatever. You want to incorporate it really well. And then what I will do is make sure that it's nice and dry. Now, if you have a permanent marker, like I should, but I can't find it anywhere. If you have a permanent marker, you can write something on here to indicate that this is lamb milk or, you know, for the lamb. I can never find my markers, so this is what I do. <laughs> And it lets everyone know not to drink it. See? Now, I use ordinary, very inexpensive baby bottles that you can get at Dollar General or Walmart. And what I do is I will cut, I don't know if you can see that, a tiny slit in the nipple um, just so that it comes out a little bit faster because otherwise that, the hole that you get with these nipples is very, very tiny. Um, you don't want to drown the baby, of course, but you can cut just a tiny slit. It's probably an eighth of an inch or so just to make it a little bit bigger. And then the trick with bottle feeding lambs or even baby goats is that you do not want to overfeed them. You should always err on the side of feeding them less because they will always beg for more. And it's very easy to overfeed them, especially in the first couple of weeks. And that can cause all kinds of problems if you overfeed them because the milk will spill out from their stomach into their rumen and their rumen is not developed yet at that young age. And that can cause serious issues of bloat which will probably kill your lambs or kids. So, always err on the side of feeding a little less than you think. Small, more frequent meals is better than large, um, you know, spaced out meals, <laughs> I guess. So, I'm going to go feed him real quick and show you just how much he loves it.
also one more note. He is now um, almost two and a half weeks old and has been on this almost since the beginning. He did have some colostrum replacer, the powdered commercial stuff, for the first day of his life. He did not have any colostrum from his mama. She rejected him at birth. And so um, after that first day of having the commercial powdered colostrum, then I switched him over to this recipe and he has done fantastic. He's had no issues, no diarrhea, nothing. He's putting on weight. He's growing like a weed and he's just doing great. I am really happy with this and um, uh, he'll continue to stay on this until he's weaned and he's already starting to eat some grass and grain and things like that. And so his rumen is starting to work and he's just doing really good. He's growing great, no issues at all. Come here, one last picture. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, he loved it.